Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial on how to use Smartsheet Document Builder. Using Document Builder will allow you to take Smartsheet data and turn it into discernible PDF reports for the rest of your team. So let's go into the first step, how to create your Smartsheet. First of all, if we come up here and select Create New and go to Sheet. In this example, I'm creating a sales funnel for clients coming to a video business. So let's go through it. So I'm just going to rename the sheet sales 101. So I'm going to start off with client name in the first column. I'm going to put status in the second column. And when I open the drop down menu in column type, it will allow me to choose symbols. And you can see here what symbols are available. I'm going to open column three and in column three, I'm going to select, I'm going to call this priority. I'm going to choose symbols again for this. Moving on to column four, let's call this a lead added. This will give me a date of when the lead was generated or brought into the business. So come to the column type on the drop down menu, select date. Moving on to column five, let's call this lead source. So I'm just going to open drop down list. And then I'm going to restrict to list values only. And in the values, I am going to write referral, Upwork, Fiverr, that sort of thing. Moving on to column six, let's call this company size. So we've got an idea of the size of company. We'll do the same with this as before. Let's select drop down list and insert some values. Let's choose charity, small business, medium business, just to get an idea of the size. Moving on, we'll need to add another column. If you go to your last column, select three dots and select insert column right. That'll give us a new column. And here I'm going to have client address. Next up, I'm going to put client postcode, zip code. The next selection will be for project lead, and that will allow us to choose which team member is responsible for each project. Here we can select contact list and that will allow us to choose a team member who's on Smartsheet to be assigned as a project lead on each project. Next, I'm going to have project description so we can get an idea of which each project is about. I'll leave that as text. Then for the next column, project start date and here we can select date in the drop down menu. Let's add another column. And I call it estimated completion date. Again, select date. Next up, we're going to add another column, project budget. Now, finances can be left at text slash number in the drop down menu. So let's add another column. Last one, we'll call it project stage. To get an idea of which stage each project is at, we'll select drop down list. I'm just going to put in here not started pre-production, production, post-production, post -production, that sort of thing. Great. So now we have our titles included in our Smartsheet. Let's put in the information for each client. So I'm just going to put a bunch of random information in here. Uh, let's call it go services. Let's drop down menu. Click status is good to go. Priority is urgent. Let's select a lead added date. As you can see, this is a calendar form. For lead source, there's our drop down menu. Here we populated certain words and you can see them in the drop down menu. Same for company size. Let's move on to client address, put that in. Project lead, we can use the drop down menu to select which team member is the lead for this project. I'm just going to put myself, that's Chris. Next up, let's put a project description, just a few words. Again, the start date we can put in. Estimated completion date, project budget, 2000, project stage, again, populated. And now I will enter the information for the rest of the clients and I will show you the completed sheet. Now we have a fully populated smart sheet with our five clients and all their information. The next step in this process is to generate the document that can be populated by smart sheets. So let's move over to Microsoft Word. As you can see here, I've used Microsoft Word to create a table with all the relevant headings that I've got in my Smartsheet. So let's take a look. 
I'm going to call it client perspective. On here, I'm going to have all the client's information, the client name, company size, project lead, all of the headings that you use in Smartsheets should be on this table created in Microsoft Word. Now we have to take this Word document and turn it into a PDF. So the easiest way for me to do this, this is the way I like to do it. There's many ways to do it. For the easiest way to do this, if we go File, Save As, and Save As PDF. I'm just going to call this Client Prospectus uh, Test for now. Okay, let's move on. Now we need to open up Adobe Acrobat Pro. You can get a free trial of Adobe Acrobat. Uh, for seven days on the Adobe website, if you've not yet got it, we can open up our Word document. As you can see, all the titles that I created on Microsoft Word are there. They're ready to go, and they're ready to be edited. Okay, so here we want to hit Edit PDF, and then what we are looking for is Prepare Form. Uh, now, if you can't see that, select this drop-down menu for More Tools, and here it is. You'll see it, Prepare Form. Select prepare form, and then you'll see something like this. It's essentially put a lot of the titles in each corresponding table box. So client name has client name, lead source has lead source. But I've noticed a little bit of a discrepancy here in project description. I'm just going to clean that up. So I'll double click in there and make sure that, and make sure this matches the correct title project description. Great. So now that's all cleared up. We go to file and we save this. You can save this where you like. Your downloads folder is that's where I'm going to go. Come back in the smart sheets. And then what we want to do is just highlight all of our information. Command click if you're using Mac. Then right click, generate document. Then here we want to create a document mapping. So we click this. Let's select make documents from a fillable PDF. Hit next. We can upload or we can drag uh, our PDF, our fillable P PDF here. And as you can see, there's all our information as expected. What you want to do now is come over to the drag and drop columns pick up each column and drag them into the green square where you would like them to be. So let's take client name, drag it over, status, drag it over, priority, put it in priority, lead added, let's put under lead added, lead source goes under lead source, and so on and so forth. Once you've completed this, all once you've completed this, all the relevant tables should have the corresponding drag and drop columns from Smartsheets. Let's call it Mapping for Client Prospectus Test 1. And then we come over here, we click Preview. There's all our information from the first row updated into a PDF document. That all looks correct, which is exactly what we want. Then if we come back into our Document Builder, we just want to hit save. Once we hit save, we'll have this option, save mappings. That's our mapping for client prospectus test one. Hit generate, and then come down in the drop down menu to attach to five rows. This will just take a couple of moments to load. See, as you can see here, it says five out of five. Let's close that and go back to our smart sheets. Let's close that and go back to our smart sheets in the top left corner, Sales 101. Here, you may have to save it and you may get a message asking you to refresh your sheet. If so, click refresh. Sometimes it needs an update. In this case, I'm not going to have to. So let's click on our attachments and there we have it. Today's date and our time. Let's click into the sheet and make sure everything's in the correct position. It is. That's great. So there we have it. That's how to generate PDF documents from your Smartsheets. This will allow you to show your investors information that if they don't want to get in the, the reads of Smartsheets into the technical aspects of Smartsheets, 
You can generate this document and provide them with a PDF within seconds. You can automate this to go to their emails, to client emails, or to your superior's emails. So it saves you a whole bunch of time. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to automate these sheets so you can automatically email or generate these sheets at a click of a button. Thanks very much for your time.